Well, a warm welcome on a chilly afternoon in West London as the Foxes look to conquer the capital on their first visit here of the season. It's the weekend where the clocks go back, but Leicester will want to push on forward to yet another club record and make it nine league wins on the bounce, only happening once before in the championship title-winning campaign in 2014. And they're coming up against a QPR side in completely contrasting form, winless in their last eight and sat 23rd, three points off safety. And Gareth Bainsworth is having a lot of problems this season at QPR but the latest is his lack of centre-half availability so it looks like a back three ahead of Begovic this afternoon filled up by Cannon, Kakai and Powell. One thing that is certain is that the midfield pairing of Field and Colback Dozzle and Adoma will provide the width, leaving Chair to play behind the front two of Kelman and Dykes and then for Leicester City, Enzo Maresca makes three changes from the victory against Sunderland in the week. Two of those come in front of Mads Hermanson, and those are Chowdhury and Cody coming into the side with James Justin and Vestergaard completing the defence. The midfield trio consists of Winks, Cassidy and Dewsbury Hall. The City number 8 and 22 do come into this, though, both on four yellow cards. The width, as usual, is provided by Mavis Didi and Fatawu, leaving the final change of Jamie Vardy, who scored the winner in Leicester's last win here. And a big news, or big bit of news on the bench is that McAteer returns to the squad. So that time of the week again. Saturday afternoon, the football is back, the Foxes are back. It is Queen's Park Rangers who will get us underway. They're kicking from left to right, the Foxes kicking from right to left. And Lee Doughty gets us underway as Leicester City look to make it nine wins in a row in the league. Go up to 39 points at the top of the championship. It's Cassidy for Leicester City. Plays it over to that far side for Fatawu. Fatawu looks to drift inside, goes for goal. And he wasn't too far away from finding it. First chance for Leicester. It took a deflection. And it will be a corner to the Foxes. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm just going to get a replay how much of a deflection. Could he have... Strange, they've let him come inside on his left foot. And the deflection very, very nearly took it towards that far corner. Here's Dewsbury Hall on the near side. Goes back towards Vestergaard. A little bit of pressure from Dykes. Hermanson now for Leicester City. In his usual position of outside his own penalty area. It looks like he wants to play centre-half, doesn't he, the goalkeeper? Mind you, there's a few goalkeepers who think they could be centre-halves nowadays. Here's Winks driving forward beyond the halfway line. Cassidy fires it out wide for Fatawu. He's had the only Leicester chance so far. In the opening 11 minutes, Cassidy, and he's going to go for goal on the turn. A nice block from Fields, and it will be a corner for Leicester. Yeah, good move on that right hand side, wasn't it? Fataru getting allowed to get the ball into Cassidy, and he just works the ball. Dewsbury Hall this time makes his way over to that far side. And after a little bit of Queen's Park Rangers pressure, in goes the Leicester delivery, and what a chance for Cassidy who had a free header, but fires it over the crossbar. Oh, he's got a score. Has to score. I mean, it's a wonderful corner. I don't know where the marking goes for QPR, but he's just standing, centre of goal, totally and utterly unmarked, and he just gets underneath the ball. QPR will get tired because they're doing a lot of running, but at the moment, they're defending well, and they're making it difficult for Leicester. Leicester have done really well to keep the possession and send it out wide towards Fatawu. Back in field for Dewsbury Hall. Mavadidi on the edge of the penalty area for Leicester. Drifts into it now. Right-footed effort. Takes the deflection and finds the corner via the post. A massive moment for Leicester City, who have had all of the possession, but now have the lead. Goal number three of the season in the championship for Mavadidi. And it gives Leicester City the lead. 
just past the half an hour mark. We was right behind it, Tyler, wasn't we? They worked the ball really well. Batawu, Jusby Hall, get it to Mavadidi. If, 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 if anything, the defending, just a fraction off him. He allows him to come inside. I can't quite see who the deflection's come off so far, but we was right behind it. And as soon as it took the deflection, had a perfect view and you could see it was just drifting hits the inside of the post and has gone in just seen the replay now is it a doma i think it might be a doma yeah lovely day to play football well you said that when it was raining as well <laughs> i like i like playing in the rain kifiar have it in the uh, center with chair gets a one two from colback now dozzle sending it out wide as the ball goes in towards that back post, Doma was coming in. Might get a second chance here, the number 37, as he plays a high ball in and off the line from Chowdhury. Brilliant defending, but it's not enough in the end as Queen's Park Rangers are level. Andre Dezel, I think, is the scorer, but it's, it's a good bit of defending by Chowdhury because he clears it, the initial header, off the line. They build the ball up on the left. Adoma really should have done better at the far post and they don't clear it, Leicester. But he does brilliant, Adoma. He chips it up. Linda Dykes with the header. Chowdhury does great because he clears the ball off the line with his left foot. It's really good defending, but all he does is just clear it to the edge of the box and there's the Zelta just smash it back in. It's a good strike. It's gone right down the middle of the goal, but it's gone through a sea of bodies. It's one of them hit with so much pace that it's hard. You can't criticise the goalkeeper despite the fact it's gone down the middle of the goal. Back with their goalkeeper, Hermanson. Sending it over towards Connor Cody out wide. Here's Fatawu. All of a sudden, a little bit of a buzz from Kupiaru. who have won it back high in the Leicester half out wide. Now inside the penalty area, it's Kilman who's going on and on. His strike deflected off of Cody, and it will be a corner. Oh, well, they've got away with it a little bit. In the end, it was Kilman who's trying to work the ball. Gets the ball in the box. They're getting a little bit of joy down that left-hand side. Back to Chowdhury now, as he swings it out towards Fatawu. Well taken down. As Fatawu takes on Powell, sends his ball into the penalty area. Important header in the air as Mavadidi will take it down again. Nice ball to the edge of the area. Harry Winks is going to have a go. And it was fumbled by Begovic who made the save. And eventually cleared for what will be a Leicester corner. Yeah, it was good play from Leicester. They've just stepped it up a bit, which they, which they need to do, you know. And uh, it was Fataru who put a really good ball into the box. It was headed up in the air. Mavadidi kept it live, gets the ball to Harry Wink. Well, Vestergaard, Vestergaard scored late in the first half against Swansea as he delivers it in towards Vardy, who had his just wide. And that was the last chance of what's been the first half. Full of chances, really. This will be QPR's first chance of the second 45. As they look to turn things around, it is Chair who will take it. It's over the wall, but just over the crossbar. It's a good effort, wasn't it? And I said, as soon as the free kick was given and where it was, the angle it was, you just felt that he was going to try and whip it over the wall. He did. He just got it a fraction too high, but Hermanson was concerned. He flung himself across the goal. The first time boot upfield from the goalkeeper as Vestergaard then hoofs it forward looking for Fatawu and Fatawu's going to get there here for Leicester and it's strike saved by Begovic QPR get it clear a chance from out of absolutely nothing for Leicester City and now a roar from the travelling support yeah he done well for Tawu because he, he didn't give up the ball was just just, just hoit back in I think it's Vestergaard no it's Connor Cody he just plays the ball over the top and they commit the cardinal sin QPR because you ne should never let the ball bounce. And it goes from chair. It's a dangerous looking ball. It's an important header away by James Justin. And now they've given it away QPR. Vardy looking to lead a breakaway. Finds Winks for Tawu round the outside. As he looks to carry on dragging it down the line for Tawu. Still going on for Leicester. It's a fantastic run as he's brought down right on the edge of the penalty area. He's not happy about it. Couple of pushes and, sho and shoves. And uh, this might be an interesting one that the referee's got to deal with. For Tawu is currently down on the ground. He was completely wiped out. That's how it all started. He was frustrated. Got back up and showed his frustration. 
They both pushed each other. Although, no, he's gone over to speak to the linesman now on the far side, and the decision might be changed here again. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. The red. No, the red card's back out of his pocket. He hasn't shown it to anyone yet. It's a second yellow card for Dozel. So Queen's Park Rangers are down to ten men. That's one thing that is certain. So it looks like Dozel is off. Fatou has been booked. And I think that's that in terms of the decisions from the referee. Was Dozel booked in the first half? Did I miss that? Or has he I shown don't him... think so. I think he, he's shown him two yellow cards now. One might have been for the foul and one might have been for the push after. I think that's what the referee's done. Here's Mavadidi inside the penalty area. Low ball in and it deflects towards Fatou, whose strike goes wide. Big chance for Leicester City to take the lead. Probably their best chance of the second half. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the QPR fans were well pleased that Fatou's put that one wide. Mavadidi returns it towards Dewsbury Hall again. He'll go around the other side, this time with Cody for Tawu. Can he be the danger man for the Foxes as he looks to get it onto his left foot and gives it away. QPR can't keep it for long, though. Back with Mavadidi. And then a ball in from early towards Cassidy. And his header sails over the crossbar. It wasn't as easy a chance as the one in the first half, but it was a chance. Well, Ian Acho completed the scoring against Swansea City last weekend. Here's Mavadidi. Winks on the edge of the penalty area. He's going to have a goal! And it is a cracking goal! What a way to open your account for Leicester City! And more importantly, on the day, what a way to put the Foxes back in front. Well, the Leicester players have gone absolutely mad. I'm guessing that Harry is a great influence on this dressing room. And he picks the ball up. Mavadidi does well. He's on that left-hand side. He gives it to Harry Wink, 25 yards out. He opens his body up and he just whips it with his right foot, curls it round everyone and over the goalkeeper. It's a sensational finish from Harry Winks. Just what Leicester needed. From this angle, oh, it's a brilliant goal. It really is a fantastic goal from Harry Winks. Dewsbury Hall just behind him. Winks and then back towards Vestergaard again. Oh, and a risky looking pass back from Vestergaard. Well taken down by the goalkeeper Hermanson. Return towards Vestergaard. He takes no chances and goes long. Well chested down by Ian Acho. So that's a fantastic ball from Dewsbury Hall towards Mavadidi, who'll get there first round the outside of the penalty area. Low ball in towards Makatia. Back with Ian Acho inside the box. Pereira on the edge of it. He's going to have a go. And a fantastic save from Begovic. Diving down to his right-hand side to stop a Leicester third. Yeah, it's a really good save from Begovic. Rolling back the years here. And they broke really well, Leicester. Jewsbury Hall gets the ball, Mavadidi cuts the ball back, and they just sort of half clear it, QPR, but it comes back to Leicester, and when the balls are just filtered back round. Vestergaard goes down the line, Winks has got to get there first for Leicester, QPR do get there first though, and they look to burst forward out wide. Last chance this for the hosts. Right far out wide as the cross goes on towards James Justin. Did it stay in play? It did. And now Leicester City looking to break away for one last time. Pereira sends the low ball forward early towards Iheanacho. Could be in here for Leicester as he's still going on, but the whistle's gone against him. The free kick's given. It looked like it was good strength from Iheanacho. Not a foul for me. Just used his, his body and... I didn't really see a foul there, but the decision's been given. But what a break from Leicester there, just right from the, the, their own corner fag. Ricardo's ball was excellent, and Ian Acho, a bit unlucky. So one last chance to pump it upfield, but no more chances after that for QPR. As the full-time whistle goes... Well, it took off in the second half, that's for sure. In terms of the Leicester performance, in terms of the drama... Heading back to the first half, it was Mavadidi who gave the Foxes the lead. 
And then Dazzle was there for Queen's Park Rangers not too long before half-time with the equaliser. The first big moment of the second half was the red card, where the goal scorer was sent off for Queen's Park Rangers. And to complete the scoring in style with his first goal for the club was Harry Winks to make the final score. QPR 1, Leicester City 2.